Kom jou Gen Z cry baby Wat ek doe het nou daarvoor kom? Als papa, hoe het ek met een cry ba? Papa, ek het gelukt nie Good afternoon and welcome back. Today we are doing part two of building raised bed gardens. And what I'm first going to do today is just to strengthen the sides of the raised bed gardens that I made with corrugated roof sheeting so that this pot belling won't happen. So I'm just going to put some braces on the sides and so that yeah, we just make it a bit more rigid. I just basically cut four boards to the size of the bed that I will fit at the top and at the bottom of, of the sides. So first thing I want to do is just make a pilot hole so I can then add it to the side. Uh, okay, yeah, you can come here. Okay, I'm to Just make sure you see where the middle of this one is. So, okay, I'll mark it here. You can draw a hole there, one hole there, one hole there. One over there. Hey, I do a business than what I expected. <laughs>
Okay, so what we are going to do now is to layer the bottom with carton boxes. Just going to remove the plastic tape. So as you will see, or as you see, we did not remove the grass at the bottom of the of the raised bed. We just uh, put cotton, a nice thick layer of cotton on top. That will smother any grass and weeds that will germinate and try to grow, and basically turn that into compost again. So you can. You can remove the grass if you want to. We just decided to take a shorter route, mulch it nice and thick with carton box that will smother it and turn it to compost. As an extra measurement to that, we will add a layer of basically carbon mulch, uh, which is wood shavings and sawdust in our case, that we will add on top of the carton box and then spread it out. Okay, so after the layer of the carbon mulch or dry mulch you can add any kind of waste from your garden or logs or what we've got is some branches and leaves from a tree that we pruned a cypress tree so we will just add that as our next layer so what we are going to do now is basically i've got some pieces of scrap wood that I can chuck in there. There it is. Then over there we've got some branches of the cypress tree that we pruned and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it a bit smaller yeah, so we can actually fit more of it in and lay it flatter. So the leaves I'm going to try and prune off and then cut the branches into smaller sizes.
Eu posso fazer por aqui. Oh, Jane Z cry baby. Basically all we need to do now still, still is to let this settle and then we will add a top layer of compost or soil to plant in, uh, which will be about 30 centimeters or a foot. But what we will do now is to let this settle. In the meantime it will go down quite a bit within the raised bed garden and then we will top up with compost and maybe some leaves for a mulch thank you again for spending time with us today i also just want to interrupt and say 
thank you for watching the video and if you enjoy this content please uh, subscribe to the channel like the video and share with your friends and family we appreciate it so much every time that you guys subscribe or share our content that is a big step forward for us in and supporting us so we uh, thank you for that as well yeah we love you and we appreciate you god bless you goodbye bye <laughs> okay